Today's Final Cut Pro tip deals with traveling mats. Final Cut Pro has two types of traveling mats, traveling mat alpha and a traveling mat luma. Obviously, the traveling mat alpha deals with an alpha channel and the traveling mat luma deals with luminance. To demonstrate how this works, we'll create a lower third. So I've brought in an image and it is just a still image. However, this could be moving footage. As a matter of fact, any of the items used uh, in this could be uh, footage. Um, they are all still images, uh, just for the purpose of demonstration. All right. Well, on top of this uh, background, I want to take this nice green color here and put that on top of there. And then what I want to do is use one of my traveling mats um, with this gradient and have this lower third essentially trail off using the luminance value of this gradient. And then I've also created here, threw it back on the timeline there, we'll drag it up, on top some text. So the first thing I'm going to do is just get everything the way I want it to so it looks nice and pretty and we'll just take this green and we'll crop it down, say okay, we'll just do this as a simple lower third, there we go, that's nice. All right, and then I want to use this gradient um, basically as the alpha channel for this lower third. And to do that, all I do is apply a composite mode, Luma. And voila, there we go. If I were to adjust this alpha channel within Final Cut Pro using these, any settings here, we could go from right to left, reverse that, we can see how that works. We'll leave it as it is because that's the intention and that's all that needs to be done. And as you can see, the only two layers that are required for a traveling mat are in fact basically the alpha and the fill um, is what it comes down to. And if we were to go off of that, obviously that's green traveling mat. And all that has to happen is the mat goes on the bottom Fill goes on the top, make sure that you apply the composite mode traveling mat luma. If this gradient file were to have an alpha channel that I wanted to use, I would then in that case do composite mode travel mat alpha. But it doesn't, so we're using the luminance. All right, so we have there a quick and easy, cheesy little lower third. Now, if we wanted to, we could also add a fade on this, we'll just add a cross dissolve there, and you can see it fades up. That works. We don't have to touch that at all. And if we wanted to fade the other items, we could do that nicely. There we go. And if we were to scrub, we have a nice little fade in. There we go. That's simple. The cool thing is, you can see we can take that out. We can bring in this nice little oval shape here. And the oval, just so you can see, oops, let's let it, let's see, looks like that. So when we apply it onto here, we've got an odd uh, item like so. If we wanted to move it, of course, we can move it. And you can see how that affects uh, what's happening with the mat to our green item. So that's simple. Uh, so all we do is right click composite mode travel mat. The other location that you can do that is in the modify menu. Go down to composite mode and travel mat. Thanks for watching.